Let's learn how we can measure current with a voltmeter. Sometimes an ammeter measurement is not feasible for various reasons, and an alternative is a voltmeter and what we call a shunt resistor. Here's an example circuit, a battery connected to a light bulb, and I place a resistor in series with a light bulb, and in this application it's referred to as a shunt resistor. I then use a voltmeter to measure the voltage across that resistor. Now the battery causes current to circulate as I'm indicating here. We'll call that current I. That's what we're trying to measure. Now the voltmeter tells us the voltage across that resistance. If I then divide by that resistor value, and recalling Ohm's law, we find that the current is voltage divided by resistance. So we basically make a measurement of voltage, use the measured value of the resistor, do that quick little calculation, and that gives us an indirect way of coming up with the current. Some points to consider or caveats, the shunt resistor value must be very small compared to the surrounding circuit, circuitry in order to minimize disruption to the existing circuit. However, it must be large enough to get a measurable voltage. These are basically two things that need to be traded off. Also, you need to be careful about the power rating for the resistor. In uh, many applications, you find that the current becomes sizable and the power, which is I squared times R, uh, must be appropriate to the resistor.